Thank you for joining us, Lord Haig. And um, what sparked your involvement in United for Wildlife and the Royal Foundation? I was horrified when I heard about the huge increase in the poaching of wildlife, the slaughter of elephants and of, of rhinos, a huge increase that started taking place about 10 years ago. And I thought while I was a British Foreign Secretary, Britain is one of the countries that can really do something about that. We have big companies, uh, we are well connected in Africa and Asia, we can give a lead. So I convened the first conference of governments on the illegal wildlife trade in London in early 2014. I'm glad to say there have then been further conferences in Botswana and Vietnam. Um, and our royal family in the UK has always been passionate about this and the Duke of Cambridge asked me to, to head up a task force of the airlines, of the, of, of the shipping industry, uh, to come together to see what we could do about this. So I feel very passionately and strongly about it and decided somebody had to stand up and act. So um, what role can IATA and its members play in helping to fight wildlife trafficking? IALTA and its members can play a really big role, and some airlines are already doing this, raising the awareness of their passengers, for a start, who might be consumers of illegal wildlife products if they're not educated uh, about where ivory comes from, about the, the, the truth about rhino horn, uh, about the threat to pangolins and tigers. Um, so raising awareness can be a, a tremendously useful thing to do to try to stop this evil trade. Uh, but of course airlines can also play an important role in detecting any illegal wildlife trade, going through airports. And many people have different responsibilities along the way, uh, but that includes the, the airlines. And again, most airlines do a great job at that, um, but it's part of a global effort. Intensifying that work is part of a global effort to save some of the iconic animals of this planet before it is too late. The UN has declared uh, 2017 the International Year of tourism, uh, Sustainable Tourism Development. Um, what might that mean uh, for raising awareness for, for wildlife trafficking and, and then the countries in Africa that depend on uh, wildlife tourism? Well, for countries to have sustainable wildlife tourism, they need to have the wildlife there. And of course, it is a, it's a fantastic thing to see, having recently been in Southern Africa myself, seeing wildlife as a tourist. This is one of the greatest experiences that you can have in your life. Uh, this is a fantastic thing for any human being with any appreciation of the, of the wider world. Millions of people could be inspired by that, uh, could enormously enjoy and be educated by doing that. They will only have that opportunity uh, 10 or 20 years from now if we succeed in preventing the illegal wildlife trade. Uh, we have seen a 30% reduction in the number of savanna elephants just in the last 10 years. So this is a race against time uh, and uh, the point you make shows that this is important for sustainable economies, for human beings, as well as being morally right uh, to protect the animals of the world. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.